Hi guys, my name is Shanice and I am new to YouTube budgeting. So this is my first video. So if you're watching, thank you. Um, subscribe. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about how I plan out my checks ahead of time. So I know like how much money will be going in each so I don't have to worry about it on payday. So yeah, if you want to learn about that, just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the budget sheet that I use. I'll put a bigger picture of it on the screen. I don't exactly know how much each check is going to be, but I know a baseline of like the minimum that it will be. So we're going to do 900 and going to total. So these are my important bills that I have. My phone bill, storage unit, my car, car insurance. I pay the water bill at my house. Sometimes I have Klarna and then Afterpay. So with this second check, I know that with my second check, I always pay Sprint, my phone bill. I pay the storage bill and I pay, that's it. So I know for my phone bill it is I always put 150. Sorry if you hear cars park. Car is passing by. I'm like right at my door. And then my storage unit is 17. So 150 plus 17 is 167. So, amount left will be 9.33. And then from that, I skip my cash envelopes and I go to my debt. So I have a Napa card, which I use whenever I need to get my car worked on, and gas. I have my Capital One credit card, my Credit One credit card, and I have student loans. So usually, every time I get paid, I put at least, I pay at least 50 on each one. 50, 50, 50. Except for my student loans, I always put 20. So that's 170. So we're going to do minus 170, 763. Okay, so now from that, I go over to my cash envelopes. So for groceries, I know I can I can either spend as much as 100 or I can spend as low as 30. So I'm trying to spend less on groceries right now. So I'm going to budget. I'm going to always budget 50. Spending money, I always at least give myself 40. Starbucks, hmm. I don't really go to Starbucks much, but I have a envelope for this just in case. So, hmm, I might go to Starbucks. So I'm gonna give myself 10. Gas, okay, so last paycheck, I gave myself 50. I don't think 50 is enough because I like to go out of town. So for this time, I'm gonna give myself extra 10 so we're gonna do 60. eating out i always try to budget a little bit less but i like eating out and like whenever me and my friends hang out we always go to eat out so i'm gonna at least give myself 40. beauty i'm getting my nails done with this check so at least 60. and then for utilities I always give 10. utilities i just say stuff like buying washing powders, um, anything we need around the house, washing powders, toilet paper, stuff like that. So we're going to add all that up. We'll do 70. So we're going to subtract that. 493. So from that, I come over to my, um, 
I do this one first. So baby, that's gonna be getting nothing. And then I won't know for my $1 savings challenge until I look at my cash envelopes at the end. Experiences is stuff like I go somewhere with my friends or maybe if I wanna get a tattoo or anything like that. But right now I'm saving up for a trip to Charleston for next year. So I'm gonna at least put in experiences 20. Save Opoly, Opoly envelope right now. It only has 25 in it. So we're gonna be starting the game. I just put something in there last time. So we're gonna be starting it. So we're gonna be putting 50. Emergency is getting 50. So that's 120. So we're going to subtract. Now we go over to our sinking funds. Our sinking funds is stuff that we're saving up for or just like stuff that we know we're going to need. So vet bills, of course, for my pets. I have two dogs. Um, business. Um, I'm starting my t-shirt business back up. Um, my dogs, they each get money and that covers grooming, getting um, them washed, um, fingernail clippings, all that stuff. So um, they each get money in their envelope. Car maintenance is for whenever I need to have something done with my car, of course. I'm saving for an apartment, Christmas, and then treat yourself. If you watch Parks and Recreation, then you get that reference. So first, vet bills is gonna get 20. Business is gonna get 20. Chanel or Luna, I always give them five. Car maintenance is gonna get 25. Apartment is gonna get 50. And these, to get these numbers, I just guess how much. And then when I get my check, then I might change something. So Christmas is going to get 25. And then treat yourself is going to get 35. So let me add these up right quick. 165. I'm going to subtract that which is 98. So right now we have, after we budgeted everything, we have at least $98 left. So let me think of where I wanna put that $98. Um, maybe I'll put more towards beauty because I'll be getting a design, which will be more. So we're gonna put Instead of 60 for beauty, we're gonna put, let's say we'll put 80. 80 for beauty, so that adds $20. So that brings it to 70 something. But yeah, so I'm not sure yet where I'll put that money. I'll put, I might just leave it in the bank because I don't want to leave my bank account with zero dollars. Basically, this is just how I budget. This is what my, um, this is what it looks like every time I budget my paycheck. And then they don't release our paychecks on how much they are until like the night before we get paid. So then the night before we get paid, I'll go in there and look and then I'll update this and then I might add some more to my sinking funds and savings and stuff so yeah that's how i budget my money so, so these right here i didn't really at first i didn't know how much to budget for these but what i did was i just went in and i just like started calculating or like keeping in mind how much i spent on each thing like gas like i said i like to travel for gas i mean i like to travel as in like 
I'm going to Charlotte or going to wherever, which is like an hour away. So I spend a lot on gas. So I give myself 60 because it usually takes around 30. Since gas has gone back down now, it takes about 30 to 40 to fill up my tank. So I know 60 will be enough because I only go out that first weekend I get paid. After that, that next weekend, I stay close to home. Um, eating out, um, I don't give myself as much in eating out because I try not to eat out as much. The only time I really eat out is whenever me and my family go out sometimes and then my me, when me and my friends hang out, we go out to eat, but we don't hang out a lot, so we don't go out to eat often. So I try not to eat out a lot. And then beauty, of course, is getting my nails done. I have my hair cut short, so I don't really get my hair done anymore. I do it myself. And then regular spending money. Like, this is where I know I could go crazy in, like, TJ Maxx or wherever. I know I could go crazy in those stores, but I try to budget myself. So, it's kind of hard doing 40, so I might add some to that. But I... Try not to get as much stuff anymore because it just piles up and then it just sits there and I'm like, dang, why did I buy that? <laughs> so, yeah. So, and another thing is I like to see, I like the cash envelope system because I like to see where I spend my money and you can see how much money you spend. And it's easier for me if I see it because like if I see it, then okay. But if I just swipe my card, I just avoid looking at my transactions and I'm like, yeah, I have more money. But when I do this, I can see it and I'm like, okay, I need to stop now. And or like, I'll look and be like, oh, well, I don't have money for that. So I can't do it. So yeah, so that's how I, um, do that so my i know a lot of people ask about um savings challenges i don't do many savings challenges i do the one dollar challenge and i did i just started the save off police so we'll see how that goes and i uh, just keep my change but um i've seen people do the hundred envelope challenge i might want to do that in the future because i really want to start saving up for um I don't know why I have an apartment right here. I don't want an apartment anymore. I want to save up for a house. So that's one of my goals for the end of next year is to have enough save for a house. So I know I need to start stuff in this envelope maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, um, I know people budget out their bills, like each check they take out a fourth of their bills. Um, I personally don't do that. I just do it with when my bills are due so like my first check i'll pay my car payment um car insurance the water bill and then if i have one of these due on that day then i'll pay that and then my second check is my bigger check because i only have to pay phone bill and storage unit so yeah i just do it that way it's easier for me i don't my brain can't grasp the concept of taking one fourth of your bills out. I don't know why, but this is just what I do. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and my next video, I'll be doing the actual cash stuffing, which I'm excited for because I've always wanted to do a cash stuffing video, but yeah, I'll put a bigger picture of this so y'all can see it because I know it's probably kind of hard to see right now. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video and come back next time for another video. Bye guys.